Oh boy. Man. Big new content update. Corpus Railjack. And I'm a bit uh, slow on the ball, I guess. <laughs> I have been sort of intentionally uh, holding off a bit and just waiting to see sort of the initial reactions before I uh, dived in. But I'm going to do my own deep dive. And I'm going to just explore this in full. There's a lot of new stuff to check out. 46 pages of like update logs and whatnot. Uh, first up, let's check to see that if I actually got, you know, the rewards that I was supposed to get. It should be on the highest tier. We'll check out. Hey, look at that. I've been watching some live streams and getting some, some universal medallions. Here's the big ones. Uh, Operator, yeah, I, I got the monument for my, for my dojo because I am an early adopter. And let's see. Yep, got got it all. Got the legendary core, the Umbra Forma, the Endo, some new resources, resource booster, affinity booster, 11 <laughs> rush repair drones, armament slots, 25 riven slivers. Goddamn. Void hole, particle ram, battle forge, munitions vortex. Nido. So yeah, that's the uh, the highest tier uh, based on just, you know, hey, I did a lot of Railjack stuff even before the update came out. Now, a lot of stuff to go through. Okay, so, kind of changed how this uh, looks. Okay, we got the thermia. So, so I like I like the new layout. I'm not sure how these colors work with the color scheme that I have. Uh, just gotta get used to all of. Oh wow! So it's just. A big list now from all of these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Arbitration, weekly alerts, fine. Kuva siphons. Uh, oh, so we just have a list now for nightmare missions. So you can just jump into those from this screen now. Okay, you know, I don't hate that. I don't hate that. Alerts. Okay, so good. They finally fixed that sort of, like, thing with, the, with how... Uh, when you hover over stuff, if you can... Uh, uh, sometimes it was hard to, like, hover over them. <laughs> it was kind of bugged. Syndicates, yeah, yeah, nothing weird there. Void Fisher, sure, whatever. Sorty, okay. Eh, looks a bit nicer. Looks a bit nicer. Uh, but the big one here, then. The Proxima Regions. I assume that I have to unlock everything again, because they've sort of, like, um... Uh, reworked all of these. So we have the free flight. Way less nodes here on Earth. Nido. Uh, Saturn Proxima should be fine. Nothing new here. Oh, you can actually access the relays here. Right, because they have um, dry docks in the relays now. I remember that. It looks a bit updated as well. well Veil vale Proxima has some new grids. Some new corpus grids uh, that I have to unlock. And you have to have Intrinsic 7 to get there, okay. And then the new ones, Venus, Neptune, and Pluto. Venus levels, oh, so these are the low level ones, 15, 23. Neptune, 18. And finally Pluto, 43, 46, so this is the high level stuff. Gotcha, and I want to check these out, because I know that there's a bunch of new stuff uh, in these nodes. Uh, blueprints for, like, new weapons, like the Carmine Penta, uh, which I want to get, obviously. There's a new companion, who has uh, partly some uh, Railjack skills, but also uh, abilities for like, grouping enemies together, which, which uh, seems cool. And that reminds me that I have to stop... Uh, leveling up my Panzer Valpophila, because hey, guess what? I'm gonna need to do some more scans, because there's new stuff to scan, so Helios, in you go. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Whee! And now, hey, guess what? The avionics are gone. Now we have mods instead. I know, and, and I know people have talked about this, where it's like, you gotta, yep, now you're gonna upgrade your mods, and you can upgrade them further than before. 
I know people have complained that there's like new endo and credit costs that didn't exist before and now you have to like use forma on your railjack and stuff. So that's a new sort of resource. But I like this system better. I honestly do. I, I didn't, I never really liked the old system with Dirac and Avionics and the grid and, and whatever. They felt, uh, it didn't feel as fun to fiddle with as this. I like this system better. And as far as I've understood, the, like this, even though this is not maxed out anymore, it's actually sort of like the same strength as it was before, I think. Like even before, when it was maxed out in the old system, it was 41.7% crit chance. It's just that like now it can go further. And I do know that like we have uh, like all the, all the, um, all the direct we had has been converted into endo, so we have more endo now. That being said, before upgrading them only cost direct. Now it costs endo and credits. So that is indeed a thing. I understand that. So I'm gonna have to level up a bunch of stuff for my railjack to be good again. That's fine. Let's start with the uh, different aura mods. What do we got? Arc, arc wing speed and damage. Turret damage while you're at 100% hull. Battle mod efficiency. Turret heat capacity. Forge capacity. Forge cooldown. Elemental resistance. Turret heat capacity is probably pretty good. Also, Orgon. That's a reference to some old sci-fi uh, <laughs> movie with some sort of uh, sex resource, I think. There's something adult about it. I, I have to look that up, but I know that Orgon is like a, a nice little nod to some indie movie somewhere. Less breach chance, uh, shield regen, armor. Hull and armor, max shields and shield regen. Like, this one's very straightforward, right? There's more hull and armor, more max shields and shield regen. But I kind of like this one. I kind of like um, turret heat capacity. So that one... Let's see. And I go here... I start fusing. How much does this cost? Ah, that's nothing. That's 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 absolutely nothing. That's fine. But some of these mods are probably gonna cost more to upgrade. Does this increase my mod capacity? Yes, it went from 60 to 67. So that's the classic one. If you form a this slot, it can. No, that that won't do anything. That that won't do anything. Okay. Uh, let's see. Hyper strike is a given. More damage on your turrets. Gotta have that. Turret crit damage, turret crit chance. I do... Those are probably necessary. Ordnance damage. That's fine. Let's go for crit chance and crit damage, right? We just plop those in and we're probably gonna have to level those up. What else do we need? Speed! Absolutely speed. Forward artillery damage. Yes, we want that. What else? Ripload. Ordnance reload time? Nah. Uh, warhead. We... Let's see. Ordnance damage. No, no. Ion burn. Boost speed. Uh, probably pretty good. Probably pretty good. There's not, not as many mods anymore, right, for this. Forward artillery has a 10% ch or like a chance to not consume dome charges. That's nice. What do we have that we want just in this uh, Naramon? Omni Revlite consumption, it's decent. It's decent. Ordnance lock on time, uh, it's okay, I guess. Maybe just go for uh, maximum ordnance munitions, how about that? Ordnance weapons, probably this one, right? Forward artillery, doesn't consume charges. I like that. I like that. Now let's see, like, when if I just put all of these mods in and max them out, uh, how far off am I from, like, being able to? Like, how much forma am I gonna have to put in this uh, to get it where I want it to be? Um, I'm just gonna have to figure out what the final two uh, things are gonna be that I'm gonna slot in. Let's give this uh, one quick look right here. Alright, so I think these are the ones I'm gonna want, and I'm gonna want to upgrade them as well. So, we're gonna bump the artillery cheap shot, yes. Bow, 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 bow. 
We'll do that. That's fine. I have so much endo. Thanks to all of these boosts that I've gotten. Predator. Yeah. Bump that one. More worried about credits. I, I have endo to spare. All right. So we've leveled these up to the max. And boost speed. I like that. Nope. Okay. So. Your collection of mods is impressive, operator. But I wonder if there are more And these are a let's see, there's a config. Oh, these go in. Right. These apply. Gotcha. Well, that's definitely going to increase the uh, the endo cost for this thing. No doubt about that. So how about we start by just uh, let's see. Oh, I'm not at max rank? With my plexus? Am I like- Oh, I'm unranked! It's gone back down to unranked. Ooh, that's a bit. That's- that's something. So do these cost anything in like their unranked version? Do these even cost anything? I Like they look upgradable. But I can't see like a, a an endo cost or whatever. I mean, um, a, a mod cost for these. So we got particle ram, tether, shatter burst. So let's just go with the good old tether. No, that didn't cost anything. But I can upgrade it. I can upgrade it. But it doesn't seem to have a capacity cost. So if I just start fusing into this, is it going to go from three to two, or is it just going to be the same? Let's see. Nope. Okay, so these do not these do not have a capacity cost. And and oh, that's fine then. I'll just upgrade them. That's fine. That's fine. Tether, munitions vortex. Um countermeasures. Blackout pulse. Is that new? Mm, I don't know. Good old seeker volley. Oof! Ooh, now we're talking. Now we're talking. That being said, holy shit, look at the damage. That is upped. That is big ups on the damage that you can do with the Seeker Volley. I'm gonna leave that for now because, hey, I'm gonna have to run the Index. I'm gonna have to run the Index for a while and get some creds. Understood. Understood, absolutely. All right, so this is maxed out for now. We're gonna need to uh, we're gonna need to level up our railjack uh, quite a bit. So we're definitely gonna need some forma here uh, because this one's not leveled up. This one's not leveled up. This one's not leveled up. So probably two forma. Two forma is probably what I'm gonna need to max out all the things that I want to max out. Other than that, I'm just gonna need a shitload of credits. Uh, and that was fine. Let's see. So intrinsics completely reworked. I've got all my points back. Now have the command intrinsic. I can get crew members from Ticker. Can give. I can level up my crew members. Definitely want all of these. Yeah, yeah. Um. Ooh, converted liches can become available on the defender crew. Love it. So we are gonna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go to Ticker. Don't you worry about it. We are going to get ready to dive in. Definitely going to bump this. Five. What's that? Third crew member. Uh, redistribute. No, we're going to go to... Uh, eight. I don't care about the on-call right now. I still haven't... I don't have a maxed out grid, so I, I, I can't afford to go all that far. Tactical. Okay. Deploy tactical mods. Warform abilities can be deployed. Fast travel within vessel. Omni gear can warp. Deploy necromex in railjack missions. Definitely want to get up to that. And arcwing blink cooldown. Love it. Uh, so we're gonna take this one up to eight uh, for now. Here we go. 
Boom. 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 Piloting. Definitely piloting. Double tap space to instantly translate the relay forward. Ooh. Reduce incoming damage while boosting, ramming. Probably want to get all of this. Gunnery is very important. Turret aim snap. We can we can max these two out. Engineering. Remotely repair. Meh. Get this one to at least eight. Probably nine. So I'm gonna take this one to eight for now. See if I can bump that to nine after I've maxed out uh, these two. Think that's where we're gonna be at. And after that, I'm just gonna have to farm some more intrinsics to actually max this out because I haven't done that yet. I'm gonna get these two babies to 10. And then we're gonna see where we're at. How many points do we have left after that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Redistributing. Understand. Gotta do this stuff or, or, or else I'm just gonna go in here with like an unranked uh, railjack. That's not great. And boom, and boom, and boom, and boom, and boom. I can get this one up to nine. And I guess I can either get like one or of these two up to nine. What do I want most? Further reducing tactical mod cooldown, that's pretty nice. And the members can be designated as being on call and can be summoned in the non-railjack missions. Sounds more fun. On-call crew has been added to your gear wheel. Does that mean if I have my necromech, I mean my my lich as part of my crew, does that mean that I can just summon it whenever I want to? That would be neat. But now I gotta go to Ticker and get a crew. So much to do. So much to do before we can start doing the thing. But that's okay. Whee! Whee! Hello, Mr. Ticker. I never met a priest who could tell you anything about heaven. So, hire Railjack crew members. You have a Railjack, but you need a crew. Unconventional people require unconventional work. Purpose. So Here's the problem. Like I am in the I'm in the process of um, leveling up syndicates and just maxing them out and getting everything. So currently I'm 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 super tight with new loca, but I don't want to be. I hate new loca. We got piloting, combat and endurance, but nothing in gunnery and repair. Uh, I, I want someone who's good at gunnery, right? Ooh, Kurafano Baleris, Cephalon Suda, yeah. Four, two, four, that's ten points. Three, one, five, one, ten points. So they all have ten points that are just distributed uh, differently, right? That's less? That's like eight points. That one has nine points. Well, I don't know. That's eight. 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 This one has ten. This one has ten. So this one seems great. Really good at gunnery. And there's ten points in total. Yeah, you shall be a crew member. I shall hire you. I'm sure they'll make a wonderful addition to your high-risk little family. Thank you. Captain, but I... I am fully trained in both manual and administrative labor. You have made a wise choice. That's good to know. Was there someone else who had like nine points or something? This person? Four, two, no. That's eight. So this one. No, this one has 10 points. Sal Rabulox. Let's get, let's get this person. That one wasn't sure they'd ever get back into space. They'll see your ship right, I think. Okay. I promise you will not regret this transaction. 
I'm proud to call you Captain. I'll come back later because this rotates. But I'm only gonna buy two because I think that I can have uh, uh, my Lich. I think I can have my Lich as my third crew member. But they can only be used to defend. They can't be used as crew in other ways, right? I think that's the case. So if I go to Railjack... I was just bored my Railjack. Aha! Meditation. If we make our opponent flinch, we have already won. Well, it's definitely smaller. We knew that. So much more people here now than before. But it's it looks all rusty and busted. I think I I, th I thought I'd change that. So this is the new layout, huh? Down here we get to. Yeah, they just they just basically took out one room in the middle. Okay. But now the question is like where where do I go to manage my crew? Where do I do that? Hmm. Do I do that in my dry dock? Is that where I go? Gotta figure this stuff out! In real time, no less. You don't have to pull out your weapon for this. We're just going to the dry dock. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, man. Whoop. God, it's so barren. So many people have so much better looking dojos than I do. It's embarrassing. Okay. This is where I used to exit my railjack. I guess this is no longer where I exit my railjack. Where do I now go to exit my railjack? Is it here? Yes. Gotcha. Research, is there anything new here now? Yes, there is. Glazio, lathe, and plating. Plating is new, like armor and stuff. Talon. Yeah, I, I think we just have to start research on all of these things, right? All of it, boom. Boom. I got to I got to get some plating. I got to I got to get plating on my railjack. I got to start this dojo research. God. There's a lot of stuff here, people. There's a lot of stuff to get through. And these two. Now, obviously, whatever you uh research here in your um in just your normal research stuff is inferior to basically everything you find in the field. Field, um, kind of with the exception of the, the the seeker missiles. Those are still good uh, because yay, manage your railjack. So it might be here. Yeah, so I have sigma. I have sigma plating. Okay, but I'm researching it to, to like mark one, mark two, mark three. That's fine. Have some stuff. Okay, nothing new here. Armaments. Upgrades, I can get to my plexus from here. Yes, yes I can. There's my intrinsics. Crew! Here we go. Oh. Oh right, you can give them stuff. You can give them weapons. Oh man, look at that. Good old Colo. Shabam! And he has his weapon, he has his Kuva Dragoon. I, I, I like that. That's neato. So, you can give them weapons uh, that are just... Uh, let's see. That are just stuff you have in your arsenal, which is nice. I can change their... I can give them attachments and stuff. I can give them all of the stuff that I have. Ah! Oh my god, there's so much to do here. I'm not gonna do this on camera because that would take forever. But I am absolutely gonna do that, like, off screen. 
Uh, train, this is where I can assign points, and I have three to spare. Oh, so can I level these guys up by just playing and stuff? Anyway, we're gonna max out your gunnery. Endurance, that's health and shields. Combat damage. Uh, ship repair and self-healing. And, uh, piloting. Neato. I want you on gunnery and repairs. Yeah. You. Uh, I want you on... Uh, piloting and repair. That sounds good. You, I can't do anything with you for now. I know people have have uh, requested that they do. Uh, I want you to be a gunner. And... Well, I guess he will be a pilot when I'm not piloting. Is that how it works? Let's try it. I've heard that like the AI for like piloting the railjack isn't... Isn't fantastic. <laughs> so yeah, I can just I can just give these guys whatever whatever primary or whatever that I have. Jesus. That's a lot of options. What's I it feels fitting to give uh, a Cephalon Suda the, the Sinoid Similor. It's too bad that it's not it's not fantastic, <laughs> right? Hey, what about a nice Exurgis? Yeah, sure, whatever. Why does this guy have his Mark I bow here like that? That looks weird. I'm gonna give you something else. You, sir, are gonna get... Jeez, I don't know. So many options. Is it even important? Man, who knows? Who knows? Congratulations, you have a Kuva comb. We're doing shotguns here. Shotgun, shotgun, shotgun. That sounds fun. Well. What's contracts? Contract duration. Nine minutes. What does that even... What does that even mean? What, do I only hire them for... For, for nine minutes? Is that it? no? That can't be it. Nah, I'll 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 figure it out. I'm gonna deck these guys out and make them look cool later. For now, it's just you know we just gotta have them. Okay. So I've heard that like solo play actually works pretty good. But people have had some issues with, like, group play and stuff. But I'm actually gonna do solo play here. Because I wanna check to see how these... How these automatic crewmates work. So, we're gonna start small. Bifrost Echo, that's an exterminate mission. And that's a defense mission. Defense. Let's start with the exterminate. So, the main sort of point of contention I've heard... And people have complained about... Is that in trying to uh, to integrate Railjack with like the the normal uh, gameplay loop? Oh, so he's just gonna take that. I can scan him. I can scan my own friend. There's Colo. So where are the uh, uh, the guns now? Right. Training exercise. Clear out that ship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to know where are the the gunners? Where do they hang out? I don't know. Anyway, move. Yeah. So I've heard uh, a point of contention against this that. Um, As a way of trying to sort of integrate uh, Railjack with uh, the normal mission type, so it doesn't feel like a content island, per se. In so doing, they've almost uh, they've almost trivialized the, uh, the the Railjack portions of the mission, so that like. It's not really all that important to uh, to do railjack stuff anymore. Breach, we are breaking apart. Immediate repairs. 
Understood. I can do that. That didn't take long. Didn't take long at all. That took all of my Omni? Am I running around and just not having full on stuff? So odd. Okay. And the complaint being that, like, um, disable priority targets prior to boarding the capital ship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need heavy ordnance. Fire torpedoes. Where am I even? Oh, he drove away. I went all over there, and he drove away when I wasn't piloting. I shouldn't have assigned him as a pilot. I don't know. There's a lot of new stuff to go through here. No, but people have said that like it feels like you're just using your railjack to taxi you between objectives, upon which you just do uh, normal, um, normal warframe missions. So it barely feels like you even you are playing railjack anymore. What last time. Like the um, the biggest criticism I heard someone say that like the railjack portions now feel like a loading screen. <laughs> Which is like, oh man, that's rough. Oh yeah, there's a lot of new stuff to scan here. Okay, so we are running in the Corpus ship tile set. Uh, but it seems to have been uh, adjusted. A little bit. Understood, understood. Man, this night wave is gonna be easy. They just want me to scan a bunch of stuff. That's not going to be a problem. Helios is going crazy. I've also heard it said that, like, the uh, the Railjack crew is really good. So, that, like, they are, they are just... They, they are just mauling stuff by themselves. So you don't even have to worry about your Railjack while you're doing this. Your, your crew can handle this. Okay, so th I love this scenery. That there's like a corpus sort of research facility on a uh, on an old uh, Orokin tower. Maybe these were existed before because like I never explored the Orokin towers. I know this isn't even my objective path, but I just I just want to look at all the new stuff because this looks great. And I love it. They've integrated like yeah, the corpus are researching the Orokin. What not? Oh, I just, oh man, this looks great. Already, like, just you know, hey, yeah, give me, give me new tile sets. Give me sexy new tile sets. All right, even new research containers to scan. And yeah, my uh, my railjack seems to be doing good. Now this wasn't my objective, I don't think. It was? Crew, you might find this interesting. Okay, I decrypted an archive. I don't know what I gained from that. But possibly something. So I know different tile sets will have um, different things. You can't just run one mission type to find all the new things. So if you want the Carmine Penta, you go to one mission type, uh, and one tile set. If you want the new companion, you go to another tile set. It's like, sure. I've also heard people complain a bit about, like, just uh, eternally spawning in enemies. Where it's like, don't bother, like, just shooting these um, uh, fighters. Because uh, they're just gonna spawn in infinitely. As soon as you kill them, the new ones spawn in. So it kind of feels pointless, in a way, to do the dogfighting. Which is a bit unfortunate if, if that's how people feel about it. Torpedoes Target in range. No, you're not going to torpedo me. So this is what a Corpus cruise ship looks like. Where do I, where do I enter this? Is it here in the back? 
Yes, you do hit it from the back. <laughs> okay. All right. Hello. Let's take the fight. Launch ram sleds. Okay, that's fine if they're gonna launch ram sleds because this is a fairly low level mission, and. Uh, I got my Kuvalich defending the ship. So, you know, I think I'm gonna be just fine. Do I just destroy these? Oh, and that opened the thing. Well, that's fine, but how do I get into the thing? Gunnery crews, launch torpedoes. Aha! I jump on the thing to get into the thing. Okay. Easy enough. So this is a bit of a different way of destroying the cruise ship compared to uh, uh, the Grenier ones. We just have to like destroy the reactor stuff. Here you have to actually sort of finagle, finagle it and get to the reactor. So just destroy it? Yes. I just destroy it. So we have reactor meltdown soon enough. I'm gonna see. Is it feasible to run out? Oopsie. I guess not. I kind of don't want to teleport back to my ship. Uh, but I probably should, right? Nope. We got out in time. We're good. Yay! Oh, my rail deck's here. Deploy a cruise ship. So... So when you destroy the cruise ship... They just spawn in a new cruise ship. Uh, that's something, I guess. Got some visual bug here where everything got dark. Well, hello, Lotus. <laughs> Now, and this is, what, low level? Yes, this is low level, and my Equinox is just shredding most of this uh, with my MAME. That's nice. Am I gonna get to kill the captain? Again, like always, hey, love, love getting some new voice acting. Rachnoids! Yeah, sure, I'll, 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 I'll kill some stuff. Don't you just love it? Getting to a new tile set and just... And just hearing... Uh, good old Helios go to work. Just all of them, all of them happy beeping sounds. This is this is what he, this is what Helios lives for. He gets to do his beeps. The best time of the year. I bet I bet Helios is delighted. We're doing fine people. And it's kind of gonna be interesting to see like how the uh, EXP is divided up, with like just you know, how much is how much am I gonna level up my plexus in this fairly low level mission? We'll find out. I've also noticed that while I'm in here and killing stuff, it seems that my railjack is in fact invulnerable. So I guess that is just so I don't, like, have to worry about it. Also heard, uh, that... While, uh... While you play in a team... Like... Like, everyone has to... You had these doors, right? You had these doors that, like... Two people have to open together and stuff. Which 
kind of encourages everyone to just move together, or at least two people moving together. It's weird, you don't really have any incentive to stay on the railjack if it's gonna be like invincible anyway while you play. Uh, we'll see. And then I just have to return to my railjack and we're done. Is that, is that gonna be it? Hello? Notifying scavenger crews. The locals send their thanks. Sounded like we had borders. Well, look at that. Immediately got the Athodai blueprint. But that's fine. Like, I already... I already have the Athodai. <laughs> but if you didn't watch... Uh, Tenno Live then you're, it's going to be great for you to get the Athodai. Okay. Volatile. That's like a, a sabotage mission, I think. Defense, defend a target, and then there's also uh, Orphix. Sure. Now let's check to see if I can check my mission progress. Plexus goes up to rank 8 from one of these missions. A decent amount of credits in Endo, I have to say. Absolutely a decent amount of credits in Endo. So it seems somewhat rewarding. Well, let's move on. Let's check this volatile. What's that all about? Still, it is a bit... I'm not sure I agree design-wise with the idea of... <laughs> I don't sure... I, I'm not sure I agree with the idea of... This feels like some sort of bonus objective, so I'm obviously gonna go for that first. Corpus Granum space, huh? I mean, Parvo's Granum. Yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, new mods. I should probably zoom around and pick up mods. Uh. Oh, wow! Wow, my gunner is good. <laughs> my gunner is real good. Yes, I will go for the wreckage. Don't worry about it, none. Definitely going for the wreckage. No, but like it's a bit of an issue, right? If if you feel like like the the actual railjack sections are not worth interacting with in these in this mission in these missions. Like, don't get me wrong. I understand that that most people play Warframe for the Space Ninja, right? Rather than the space battles. And there was a bit of an issue with like just getting people to want to interact with Railjack, right? Because people are like, hey, that's not why I installed Warframe. I installed Warframe because I wanted to be a space ninja, not because I wanted to, to uh, pilot the spaceship. So it might be that the idea is that this is to, to just phase people in to accepting Railjack. We're basically like, you're, you're currently playing mostly the normal missions and mostly the normal way of playing Warframe and then it's just like a little bit of rail deck a little bit of spaceship uh, tossed in to sort of familiarize with yourself with it and acclimatize yourself to it which is a fine idea but at the same time it's like just you know railjack is sort of endgame content is that it's, it's got a pretty high barrier of entry in terms of resources, even with all the discounts they have. Decrypting archives. Crew, you might find this interesting. So that's where I got, probably why I got the Athodai, right? Was it, was that the unidentified thing? Eh, uh, hard to tell. Because I won't know what this is until I finish the mission. That's fine. 
Yeah. All right, let's get let's get back on my ships. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we're good. She spawned up here in the middle again. Okay, now we can actually do what we came here to do. Ah, oh, I love that I can boost forever. It's like... When Warframe first came out... They had like a stamina bar for stuff. I don't know, maybe someone just likes stamina bars. <laughs> And then, you know, whenever they introduce, like, a new thing, I always gotta chuck in a stamina bar. Everyone talks about how they don't like the stamina bar. And then eventually they remove the stamina bar. Now, I guess, as always, the only way to kill these guys is with the E4 World Artillery, right? You can't actually gun these down. Nope. Now the problem here is, if I want to use the forward artillery, is my assigned pilot going to mess with me by moving? Well, not right now. But he would have. He would have. Yep, and as soon as you shoot it, a new one spawns in. Ah. Gotcha. Don't get me wrong. I want more firepower out there. Want there was a complaint that, like, um... Tagging nearby corpus Ow. Their credentials would assist with the reactor job. You optional. Yeah, I'll do Any optional. Has arrived. They are powering weapons. We need heavy ordnance. Fire torpedoes. So I gotta go in there, right? Priority targets neutralized. Next I gotta go in there if I wanna if I wanna steal. I don't think I can just destroy it. Oh, that's what I was worried about. Pilot, pilot, what are you doing? Pilot, I I wanted to board the cruise ship. Pilot, what are you what are you doing, pilot? <laughs> Pi pilot? Pilot? Pilot! Oh, the slingshot is gonna be kinda garbage in solo mode if it's gonna work like this, right? <sighs> well, that's an issue. Would be nice if I could sort of like give orders to the pilot? And be like, hey pilot, could you just could you just chill for a while? No, I don't want to board the capital ship. I want to board that thing. No, no. Like, no. The slingshot... Uh, the slingshot is just ass if you have an assigned pilot. But you obviously want to have an assigned pilot for uh, when you're leaving the railjack yourself. So that's... Mm, he, you know what, people? This is a work in progress. Ow. Work in progress. Hello, I've come to steal your stuff. Give me all of your credentials. Woo. Sir, sir, your credentials. Candy. Grab those credentials. Excellent. Return to mission. Gotcha. Don't even need to destroy this thing. And I kind of feel like, like, why would I, right? Because as soon as I do destroy this thing, uh, a new cruise ship is just gonna spawn in anyway. So I, I do see the point where people have said that, like, the way to interact with these things is to not interact with them. Whereas, like, you're better off just... Just, just don't. Just, there's, there's no real point to it. I'll do it anyway because I'm a completionist. Whee! 
Oh, I gotta wait for it to load in before I can destroy it. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Launch torpedoes. Back in. So maybe the idea is just like, hey, this is gonna teach people about Railjack, so you get a feel for Railjack, and uh, but you're mostly gonna be playing the good old Warframe missions that you like and uh, w why you got the game in the first place, stuff like that. Yep. Kill the guys and new guys just spawn in immediately. Like, immediately when you kill the, um, the fighters, new fighters spawn in. Hmm. No, there's definitely some stuff to, to uh, some kinks to work out here. There is some stuff that is not super thought out. I'll say that right away. Destroy vessel. Complication. Reactor invulnerable to railjack artillery. Solution. Recalibrate reactor. Reactor console nearby. The codes you obtain will grant unimpeded access. Corpus engineers will not immediately detect intrusion. Okay. So we got a defense mission. You let them get on board. Do not compound your failure by leaving them alive. Defense? Mobile defense? Keep heat levels within specified parameters. I'm keeping these heat levels. These pipes are feeling distressed. But that's okay. Maintain reactor heat within optimal range. There will be no stress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry about it, Sai. Love new voice lines for Cephalon Sai. Cephalon Sai is cool. He is rad, and he is a homeboy. So, can I... Let's see, gear wheel. Vent immediately. Oh, vent. How do I vent? How do I vent? Oh, did I fail? How do I vent? I was supposed to do a thing and I wasn't paying attention and I didn't do a thing. Alright, fine. Let's try it again. Okay, we're back in. Time to pay attention. Okay, but how? How do I... How do I... Deheat? What do I do to deheat? Heat levels climbing. Force vents open to cool reactor when needed. Force vents open. How do I force vents open? How do I do that, Sai? Does it show me the one that I have to force open? Okay, gotcha. Gotcha, it'll just straight up show me. Sai, I'm trying. I understand that... I did it. Wow, stressful, huh? Ow. 
Good lord, what would I do without my pillage here? There is a lot of stuff going on. Oh, I didn't get it. I got it. We're good again, people. Oh, okay, I kind of like this. There is a sense of urgency to everything going on here. You gotta actually, like, sort of just, you know... Be on top of stuff. That's a bit cool. Definitely feel like this mission is not messing around. I dig it. Well, they won't be. Aw, oh, did I kill them too fast? Okay. Sai is at a cool 77%. Oh, oh, oh. Got another one. Ah. Oof. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like this mission. This is fun. Uh, this is... This this actually like it kind of demands something out of you, uh, gameplay wise. We have what we came for. Corpus jammers are overriding railjack recall. Return via arc wing. Dig it, dig it. That was fun. That was like a fun little section of just like stressful, <laughs> but but stressful in the good way. It's actually just one. I know. I know you think there must have been multiple because of how how utterly embarrassed you were, in Mr. Captain. But it was in fact uh, just the one. Is that it? Just return to Railjack now when we're done. Yes. I like it. Ship decapitated. Reactor marked. Isolating optimal firing vector. Pilot, line us up. Forward artillery, take them out. Oh. Now this is a problem. This is a problem because this one requires me to use the forward artillery, I think. Right? Yeah. So I'm a bit worried that like how is that gonna how is that gonna work? If the like I have to do this fast before my pilot comes rushing in. Don't you dare, pilot! Got it. Oh, it's it's gone. Oh, and you actually get parts for the Athodai this way as well. So is the Athodai like the, the Venus thing, maybe? I don't know. Man, this looks... This looks great. Is that like a beam that goes down to the planet and stuff? Oh, it looks fantastic. Definitely like that. So what have we unlocked? Another exterminate. And is this one gonna be like Orphix? Because I know Orphix is gonna be a thing. Cool, 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 cool. Alright, so say I return to Dry Dock now, right? Let's check. What's my... What's my rewards in terms of like... Leveling up my Plexus after two... Fairly low level missions. Yeah, first mission took the Plexus to rank 8, and now it's like to rank 10, so definitely need um, uh, to get to the higher level stuff if I actually want to, like, just reasonably level up my Railjack. That being said, you could, you like, just probably go to the Grenier Tiles, or if you want to, just mess around in these missions and just do the dogfighting sections and, and just shoot 
shoot fighters and cruise ships forever because you can basically just just go on for as long as you want. Uh, because they're just gonna keep on spawning in forever and ever and ever, right? Ah, this is where they put the finger now. Yum. <laughs> He's so cool. Look at that guy. That is a reliable friendo. Whoop whoop. Dropping Tenno out of airlock. Okay, so definitely a lot to go through here, and we we're gonna have to. I'm gonna like I'm not gonna do like you know on camera unlocking every single node, but I am gonna stream that. We're gonna do that through some some good old fashioned live streaming. But first impressions from this, like, I'm a, it's a mixed bag for me. Like mostly good. Mostly good. I actually like the idea of toning down on the railjack portions for now and focusing on classic Warframe stuff. So you get like a little bit of railjack and then mostly classic stuff to sort of get people into railjack, I think. And then you can sort of expand on it over time, increase the... Railjack portions of stuff, which I think is what they're gonna do when Corpus Liches come. Um, the, the Corpus Queen pins. Uh, because they are gonna be connected to, to Railjack. And, uh, and those mission types are probably gonna be more integrated to play more Railjack stuff. That being said, uh, this idea where it's just like, as soon as you shoot down these... Fighters, like four new ones just spawn in instantly as soon as you shoot down a cruise ship, a new one spawns in instantly. Since that's not actually tied to any mission objective, I do see the point that it feels pointless to interact with it. It's like, why would I shoot down a cruise ship if it doesn't, like, progress me in the mission and, and it's just an infinite amount of enemies? It's just a new one that's going to spawn in. I could understand, like, if you're actually whittling down their defenses. Where, like, hey, if you shoot down enough cruise ships, like, there's not going to be any more ones. Because it might take time for them to send for reinforcements. You can even have, like, a timer. You can have you shoot down a cruise ship, and then it's going to be like, okay, they're going to call for reinforcements, but it's going to be, like, I don't know, four or five minutes now until the new cru next cruise ship will arrive. Stuff like that. Give you a tangible reason for destroying them. So so you feel like you have there's a point to it. Like oh this is why I'm doing it. Because currently I don't have a reason to. There's one that I have to destroy just for the mission objective, but after that you just ignore them. That would be something. Um But yeah this this looks fun. I'm gonna I'm gonna do more deep dives into this. The problem is though these corpus like uh, missions is probably not the way to go to level up my railjack. If I want to level up my railjack so that I can slot some forma into this and max it out, I'm probably gonna want to go and do the old Grenier missions uh, because that's where I actually fight with my railjack and will probably get a lot more EXP with my railjack for doing that. But that's not really what they want. They want me to interact with the new stuff. So that's a bit <laughs> counterproductive, I guess. Anyway, uh, we're going to deep dive into this. And I'm going to make a, a ton of different videos. Uh, we're gonna, I'm, I'm going to just grind through everything. I'm going to find the stuff to make guide videos about. And I'm going to make guide videos about that. And dig to loot, through loot tables. Going to figure out like good uh, strategies for, for dealing with stuff. It's going to be fun to explore this together. Hey, new stuff to make Warframe content about. Um, like, I was at, I was so close to just actually starting to do, like, challenging other Warframe content creators to rap battles. <laughs> just because I was like, <laughs> I'm running out of stuff to make videos about. Uh, but I think the world has been spared from that for a couple of more days now. Because now I actually have stuff that I can make content about that's not... I'm gonna embarrass everyone involved. <laughs> I don't know. 
I don't know. We'll see about that one. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow for something completely different, uh, but it's probably going to have something to do with Corpus Railjack. <laughs>